All right, welcome to day two of balancing equations. I've uh, got a couple challenging ones here for you just to show you some tricks. What I want you to do first is pause the video and try this, uh, first reaction, this first reaction right up here, this one right here. Let's give that a shot. So take a moment to do that. Okay, hopefully you did it. Let me walk you through the way I would do this one. The first thing I would notice is there's no polyatomic ions, so I'm looking for unlike subscripts. Of course, I've got an unlike subscript for iron right there and there. Okay, And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch them. So I'm going to put a 2 right here and a 3 right there. Okay, Now that gives me uh, 6 of each. Then I look to the O's. On this side, I've got, uh, I've got 9 O's. All right? And on this side, I've got right here, I have 8 O's plus 2 O's, which gives me 10 O's. That's a problem because there's nothing I can do to get this to work out. And so here's a little trick that I like to do when I'm faced with an odd number. A lot of times in balancing equations, odd numbers are bad. They don't work out very well. And so how do you get rid of an odd number? Well, you multiply it by 2. Any odd number multiplied by 2 gives you an even number. So what that's going to cause me to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this a 6. I'm going to make this a 4. And that still has kept my irons balanced, right? I've got 12 irons. And 6 times 2, I've got 12 irons right there. So I'm OK. Now let's check my O's. Well, 4 times 4 is 16 O's plus 2 O's. That gives me 18 O's, right? And then 6 times 3 gives me 18 O's. So what do you know? It's balanced, all right? So let's try another one. This one might be just a little tricky. Try this second one right here. Pause the video. See if you can do it. And then I'll tell you how to do it, uh, I guess, my way. All right, hopefully you did that. The first thing I notice is right here, I've got three... Um, bromines. And over here, I've got two. That seems to be kind of a problem, so I'm not going to do those yet. Right here, I've got two nitrogens, so I'm going to put a two right here, unlike subscripts. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention the hydroxide, but the hydroxide's are already balanced, right? Okay, so now I've got a total of two nitrogen. Well, now I'm going to deal with my bromine. If I look at this, um, two times three, right here, that gives me six bromines, right? And so I can do so anything over here to make sure I get 6. I can go 5 and 1, 4 and 2, 3 and 3, and so on and so on. But there is an issue, and this is going to involve a little bit of, of logic. Whatever I happen to put in front of this sodium right here, whatever I put right there, um, that's going to have to be the same number as what I'm going to put in front of the sodium hydroxide. Same thing with what I have over here. Whatever I put in front of this bromine hydroxide, bromine hydroxide, uh, that's going to have to go here. So that tells me that these two numbers have to be the same number. So 6 bromine I get from 3 and 3. And so that means that this has to be a 3. Then just as kind of a, uh, a last little check, I make sure my um, NAs are fine, the NAs are fine, and it's all balanced. All right, let's try another one. Go ahead and do the second or this third equation. You might recognize this from biology. Here we've got sugar plus oxygen gives us uh, water and carbon dioxide. So this is the respiration reaction. Pause the video and give this a try. Okay, hopefully you did that. Now when I do any kind of Oh, this, is, this really looks like a combustion reaction where water and carbon dioxide are your products and oxygen uh, comes into play. I always balance the carbons first. So there's 12 carbon there, so I'm going to put a 12 right there. All right. The next thing I've got, I'm going to do the hydrogens. 22 there, 2 times what gives me 22? 11. Okay. And then right here is where we get stuck most of, most of the time. Because if you look at this, I've got 11 O's and two O's for a total of 13 oxygen, okay? Over here I've got 11 O's and 24 O's for 35 oxygens. And that seems to be a real issue because you can't turn 13 into 35 anyways. So there's a couple things you could do. You can go like this. Well, if I take away these 11 right here and I take away those 11, all right, then I've got to get 24 O's 
over on this side. And what times 2 is 24? 12. Okay. So that works. That seems to work out the best. I've had some students say, well, subtract uh, 13 from 35, you get 24, and, and then write 12. Either way, this works out. Okay. So there's that one. All right, your last try. Pause the video. See how you do. Do that last one. All right, how did you do? Well, let's look at this. I've got two hydroxides. There's no hydro, uh, hydroxide over here, so I can't use that. So I'm going to look to my unlike subscripts. Well, I've got a 3 there, and I've got one over here, so I'm going to put a 3 immediately right here. Okay. Then I'm going to look at uh, the irons. There's one of each. So let's go ahead and take care of the O's. There are two O's right there, and there's only one O there, so I'm going to put a 2. Okay. Well, so far so good, but now let's take care of our hydrogens. I've got two hydrogens there and three hydrogens there for a total of five hydrogens, right? Over here, I've got four hydrogens uh, plus two hydrogens for six hydrogens. There's another problem. Just like that last time, we have this odd number over here. So what I want to do with that odd number is, again, I'm going to try and double things. That seems to work out pretty well. So instead of this being a three, I'm going to make this... 6, okay, and instead of this being a 2, I'm going to make this a 4, okay. All right, so now, look what I have here. I have 6 chlorines. Well, if I have 6 chlorines, and there's 3 here, I've got to put a 2, right, because 2 times 3 gives me 6, right? But look what I just affected. I just affected my iron. So there's 2 irons now, so I'm going to put a 2 over here, okay. And of course, that's going to affect my O's and my H's. So let's take care of the O's. I've got 2 times 2. I've got 4 O's over here. And I've got, oh, what do you know? I've got 4 O's right there. So that worked out pretty well. Well, let's check my hydrogens. I'm going to erase some of this because it's getting a little messy here. Okay, I've got two, 2 hydrogens times 2. So there's 4 H's. Plus, over here, I've got 6 H's. That gives me 10 H's, right? Well, let's look at this right here. Um, I've got 4 times 2, there's 8 H's, plus 2 H's, I have 10 H's over there. So hey, what do you know, it's balanced. So there you go. Hopefully you're doing really well on this. If not, again, this is one of those things that practice makes perfect. Go to the website, practice some problems, come see me, whatever you got to do. All right. So what I want to do is go with this last little part, and I want to talk about combustion reactions. Okay. Now they're easily identifiable because if you look at this whole area on the product side, same thing. We're getting carbon dioxide and water. Okay? And you might also notice that, hey, every one of these combines with oxygen. Okay? So um, what we're going to do is just balance it uh, by focusing on this hydrocarbon. All right? Now, hydrocarbons are L, uh, compounds that have carbon and hydrogen, which seems to make sense. And the order I like to balance these in is CHO, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. So this first one I did for you, and I'm going to hopefully insert this video of me burning methane. If not, you'll find it in the demo section on my website. But I'm going to do this reaction for you. This is already balanced, so we're going to skip that. Um, but let's go to this one. Three carbons, I'm going to put a three there. Eight hydrogen, I'm going to put a four there. All right, so now we've got eight. And then my oxygens, I've got a total of six O's here, and a total of four O's there for a total of ten oxygens. So I'm going to put a five right there. Okay? Um, okay, so where we have a problem here is when we come up to something like this, where there's an even number of carbons. Let's just do it in our order of CHO. So I would put a four here. I've got 10 hydrogens, so I'm going to put a 5 there, okay? And then i got to take care of my oxygens, okay? And it's all times in 2. Well, there's 8, and there's 5, for a total of 13 O's, all right? Well, we can't make this turn into 13. I mean, if we could use 6.5, we would, but we really don't do that uh, right now. So this is, again, one of those doubling things like I showed you. But if you look at my rule up here, if you see a hydrocarbon with an even number of carbons, like this one right here, it has four, you can just start off by putting a two there. Immediately, that will make uh, the rest of this work out quite nicely. 
So here we go. This is how I would do it. I've got a total of uh, eight carbons there. Oops, my pen's a little behind. There we go. So I would put an eight. Okay. I've got two times ten, which is twenty hydrogen. So I'd put a ten there. Now let's look at the oxygen I have. I have sixteen oxygen plus another ten oxygen for a total of twenty-six oxygen. Oops. Twenty-six. So I'm going to put thirteen right there. Okay. If I don't have the video clip of the uh, of this reaction right here of the methane please check out my website it's rather cool hope this worked out for you hope uh, your this uh, these equations are making sense and uh, if not again come see me we'll This is good enough right here, huh? Hey, look at the bubbles! Woo! Yeah, one of the problems with my soap solution was not very good last time, and so I can see some of the bubbles are uh, unfortunately popping. Can you hear? Oh, oh, underwater, right? So anyways, but, but I'm getting the kind of the desired effect I want to do, so, so that's okay. Yeah. 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 Great. Did you feel the heat? What kind of reaction? Exothermic, yeah. So yeah, it's amazing how much chemistry we know, right? You feel that? Now we'll yeah, we, heck yeah, we could do it again. Let's make it a little bit bigger, though, right? Um, not when it's wet. But I will admit, last period, um, my bubbles were not floating up. And so they got to smell all the uh, hair burning off my hands. So, so like, this is the stuff that you're the This is see the equation up there, yeah. right? So what we're doing is got methane. We're, we've got oxygen in the air, right? Add a little spark. We're making some carbon dioxide. <laughs> well, you've got to have. This is probably like one of the best. This is the best ever. All right. There we go. Shazam! Woo! <laughs> 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 this is so. <laughs>